Hello, I'm Fred McCray, and I'm a descendant of the Dixie Freedom Colony located in Jasper County, Texas. We're standing uh, in front of the Neely Grove Methodist Church that I was a member of uh, back in the uh, late 50s, 1950s, I believe it was. Yeah, I was about 12 years old when I joined this church. I would love to see this church restored. I started researching Freedom Colonies in about 2015 when we were able to purchase back into the community the old elementary school that I attended. When I started doing my research, I found out that in about 1853, Joshua Seal came to Texas with uh, a number of enslaved persons. One of the, one of the persons that uh, he had taken favor in was Richard Uncle Dick Seal. Well, Joshua Seal had taken favor with Richard Seal. And uh, he helped him to build a church, the Dixie Missionary Baptist Church, which is the oldest church built by formerly enslaved persons west of the Mississippi. That church is still viable and uh, doing well. A lot of them do. Yeah, this is probably, probably everybody in this particular community are somewhat descendants of the, of the uh, original formerly enslaved persons. Yeah, that's probably true. A number of them have moved away, but a lot of them come back to the, to the cemetery homecomings and things of this nature. And a lot of the family reunions now are being held in our facility here. That was formerly the old gymnasium of the G.W. Cobb Elementary School Complex. To begin using your Adopt-A-County workspace, first, go to the address bar in your web browser. Chrome is the preferred browser. Type in drive.google.com. Next, click the button that says Go to Drive. Then, Click the button that says add another account. Otherwise, simply enter the email address provided by the Texas Freedom Colonies Project. Next, enter your password. You have now successfully logged in. 